And guys, we are in Boulder City at some abandoned hotel here. And Boulder City used to be um, where workers came and they created this community where workers came to build the Hoover Dam. And now it's a, a huge tourist spot where uh, they have these little, you know, charming, or what would you say, moderately charming uh, inns like this one, where it's just one story, two stories, uh, just basic rooms, but rooms that kind of harken back to that era of like Route 66. And then there's, look at that, Southwest Diner and just restaurants and big, you know, big signs and very Americana. Um, that really make you feel like you're on a road trip. And so this is a bit of the downtown here. And let me, I'm gonna just storyline something. I just stayed at a hotel. Um, I won't say which one it was, but I've had this experience before and it's, it's, um, it's always frustrating and annoying and there is a solution. So let me just tell you about it. When you check into a hotel, Many times, hotels will take a deposit, $50, $100, and then they say, well, you know, we'll give it back to you upon checkout if nothing is broken, etc. And it's, you know, you say, okay, cool, no problem. And then when you check out and ask about it, they say, oh yeah, we'll, we'll credit your credit card. Uh, it takes seven to 14 days. That is not true. A deposit that's refunded can be refunded immediately. I know this because I've gone through this process so many times because I've traveled for years. So some hotels simply never give you your deposit back and you, you, you'll you keep on calling and they'll say, maybe there's something wrong with the, the bank and they're giving you the runaround. It's not true at all, zero. They're just trying to keep your money. But if you know how it works, you simply say, okay, seven to 14 days, I understand. Um, I'd like the deposit back now. They'll say, well, we don't have control over that. Every bank is different uh, in terms of processing it. That's a lie right there. So you just stay there and say, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like it back now. And you stay there and let it be uncomfortable until they give you your deposit back. Every single time I've done this, every single time I've just, said okay and said I'm you know I'm just here till you give me my deposit back they have um, immediately given me my deposit back um, there's one instance where they didn't and it was just kind of like a criminal hotel um, if they give you more resistance you just can simply turn on your 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 phone and say okay I'm recording this that usually encourages them to make it happen. Um, and if that doesn't work, you can also call your bank and say, okay, they're saying they've released the funds. Have they done it? And you do this right in front of them. And so that's another pressure point for them to give you your money back and also to um, essentially catch them in a lie. So tourism and travel, it can be tricky, it can, can be sneaky, you get a lot of kind of strange people working in the industry who play tricks for whatever reason. Maybe they get a psychological payoff off of it or maybe they're just trying to keep your money, um, which is criminal, or they're just you know tricksters and they're bored and they have the same job and it gives them the little drama of it all, gives them a kick, I'm not sure, but that's my big tip for traveling with deposit. Don't leave till you get your deposit back.